there and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today is Sunday and I'm going to prep a dinner that I can have for the next few days. This is a spinach artichoke bake and it's made with cannellini beans, artichoke hearts, baby spinach, quinoa, and it's got a creamy sauce that goes over the whole thing. Sounds delicious, right? So let's get started. So first I have an onion that I diced. I'm just gonna put this in my 13 by nine pan. I love spinach and artichokes together. I think they taste so good together. Then I have a can of artichoke quarters that is packed in water. I'm just gonna give them a rough chop. And those are gonna go in the casserole. I always have a can of artichoke hearts in my cupboard because I never know when I want to make my spinach artichoke dip. That's always a crowd pleaser. It's also really good to stuff in mushrooms or to have with some pasta. And I've never made this before. I just kind of came up with this idea, but I thought it would be good to have on hand to eat over the next couple days. So I'm just putting the roughly chopped artichoke hearts in there. Then I have a can of white kidney beans or cannellini beans. They're drained and rinsed. I'm gonna put that in the dish as well. I have some baby portobello mushrooms that need to be eaten. And I just love mushrooms with spinach and artichokes. So I'm gonna just chop these up small and put them in the dish as well. A lot of my clients say that they that they're afraid to buy large quantities of vegetables because they end up throwing it out. They open up their fridge and see it sitting there and they don't know what to do with it, so it just sits there. It's just easier to order something to go or eat something convenient, but a dish like this is perfect because you can add as many different vegetables as you like. Anything's gonna be good in here. So I'm putting the mushrooms in here. It's a great way to use up leftover veggies. A casserole or a soup, it's perfect for that. Then I have two thirds of a cup of quinoa. You can use brown rice or any grain really. Two thirds of a cup. This is gonna make quite a lot, but I like to eat a lot. And then you wanna put twice as much liquid as the quinoa. So you can use a can of coconut milk. You can use vegetable broth. Here I have a coconut soup that we had last night. I'm just gonna put the rest of this in there and it's just enough. Perfect. Stir that all together. It smells amazing already. Then I'm going to season it with some onion powder, garlic powder, you could use fresh garlic, but I don't have any, and that's the last of my garlic powder. And a little bit of dill. Fresh pepper. Some nutritional yeast. Did you know that nutritional yeast has 630% of your vitamin B12 that you need for a day in one serving? So it's great for plant-based eaters because we don't get a lot of B12 in plant foods. I'm gonna dice up two green onions just because I have them. And I love green onions. And I have some organic baby spinach. I'm just gonna put as much as I can mix into here. It really cooks down. Garlic salt. I don't like to use foil to touch my food, so I'm going to use a silicone mat. Put that right on top. It makes a great cover. Okay, the spinach artichoke bake is out of the oven. It's very hot, but you can see the white beans and the mushrooms and the spinach artichokes. It looks good, it smells amazing. Let's have a sample. This is high in protein and fiber. All the liquid has been absorbed, but it's not dried out. Let's try it and see how it is. 
Looks very hot. Mmm, so good and flavorful. I love the beans and the quinoa. This is something that's going to be delicious for me to have when I get home from work. Mm, mm, mm. After a busy day, it's nice and hearty and loaded with vegetables. I love these casseroles that you can just put in one dish and bake in the oven. You saw how easy it was for me to put this together. You can really customize it depending on what you and your family like to have in a casserole. What are your favorite vegetables and what are your favorite beans? What are your favorite seasonings? I put a little bit of dill in here, but you could use Italian seasoning or basil, rosemary, would all be really good. I hope you guys try this one out. Get creative in the kitchen. Find a vegetable that you like and go with it, run with it. Find a bean and a vegetable and a grain that you like and just mix them up and see what happens. You're bound to find something good as long as you put some good seasonings in there, it's gonna be delicious. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.